Hello besties, my name is Taimu and you're welcome back to my channel today, Easy Sewing with Taik. So on the channel today, we'll be drafting, we'll be sewing a queen and neckline yoke with lace salvage area. And also the perfect method of fixing a bra cup onto a bustier, okay? So the queen and neckline can be said to be a bridal neckline as most bridal outfits make use of different variation of the queen and neckline. Just like any other neckline, you can always adjust the wideness and the depth to suit your sewing project, okay? So if all of this is something you're interested in, then I suggest that you keep watching, okay? Now, to everyone coming across this channel for the very first time, you're welcome. Thank you for stopping by. It's so good to have you here. I can assure you that you will love it here. And to all of my returning subscribers, you already know I can't thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you all. Now, please ensure that you subscribe if you are here to. Please subscribe to all of my returning viewers. Make today that day that you will subscribe, okay? Also, like this video, please. It's so important. And put on the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thank you. Now, let's get started. First thing you want to do is to determine the depth of the neckline, okay? The cleavage line, how low you want it to be or how exposed you want it to be. So, yeah, I'm working with seven and a half. So, you just want to note it. The next thing to note is to note the neck width, how wide you want it to be. So, I'm working with three inches. You know that when it is open, that is six inches. So now the next thing you want to note is to note the break point. So there is what I mean by the break point. I'll be indicating it with a picture that you can see on your screen right now. So for the purpose of the, today's tutorial, I'm working with five inches. So I'm going to note that as well. So you want to note all these three points. Now the next thing to do is to determine how wide you want it to be at that break point. And today I am working with four inches. So I'm just going to mark that as well. So now all you have to do is to connect these three points like so. So starting from the lower part, you want to go ahead and connect it like this. Just give it a sweet out curve, okay? You can do it freehand or you can make use of your arm or curve. And for the upper part, you want to go ahead and connect it like so also. You can make use of your ruler if you want it just slanted, if you want it straight. Or you can make use of your arm or curve as well to just give it a curve if you want it curvy. Now, because mine is going to be in form of a yoke, I want to replace that upper part with the salvage area of my lace. I want the edge to have scallop. I'm going to extend that my 5 inches line, that my break point line. I'm going to extend it all the way and just label out my yoke, okay? That is the place I'm going to be replacing with the salvage area of the lace fabric. Here is another important thing that you want to do. You have to prevent gaping. You have to take in the neck that. Because if you cut it out this way, there's every probability that that neckline is going to gape. It's going to appear wide or big, especially that sweet art area, okay? So here is what you want to do. So before you cut out your neckline, you just want to place your ruler this way, diagonally, from the, from the corner that way. And you just want to go ahead and rule a straight line. So this line, you can make it 2 inches or you can just extend it all the way to the chest line. After which, you just want to mark out half inch away from that line. And then you want to connect it to the line that you've made before. Just make it in a dark form. Because what we are actually doing is to, we are actually taking away the dart, okay? To make that place firm, to prevent gaping. So you just want to do this. So there are two ways of taking out this neckline dart. So, but before I show you the second method, which was the one I did eventually, you want to make sure that you note where your yoke is starting from on your pattern, or you just go ahead and measure it this way. This will guide you when you are trying, to, when you are sewing. Now to the second method. Once you are done cutting out your bustier dart, all you just want to do now is to change the direction of the line. Remember that was the line that we ruled earlier. You just want to slant it diagonally in such a way that it is going to end at the tip. At the tip, okay? You just want to do what I'm doing on the screen right now. After which you've changed the direction of the line, then you can now measure out your half inch and you want to redraw your dart, okay? 
so that is what i'm going to do now and i'm going to close off the dart doing this i have successfully eliminated any gaping that might want to occur so this is going to lay flat it's not going to gape at all we are done drafting the coin and neckline so now it's time to show you how to transfer this yoke to fabric how to use it to cut out the salvage area of the lace fabric to obtain that scallop edge so here is how you want to place your pattern you're not going to place it this way no but you are going to tilt your pattern in such a way that it will align with that salvage area that way it will align with the salvage area of the lace fabric with those scallop when you are satisfied with what you have then you just go ahead and pin it this way then you cut it out so i'll be cutting it out now but i will still be adding half inch to that lower part that way the half inch that i'm going to use to join the yoke with the body okay so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out now now you can go ahead and arrange it this way to see how it's going to look after sewing okay so you can see how beautiful it is already this is what we'll, we would have when we are done sewing it's my bustier pattern i've transferred it to fabric i've added half half inches where necessary and also that place where i marked on my pattern where the yoke is starting from you want to make sure that you notch it on your fabric as well this would make sewing the yoke easier so before we move over to the sewing machine here is just a rough sketch showing you how the pattern would have been if we are not replacing the yoke with the lace color so we'll be fixing the cup first before proceeding to sewing the neckline okay so to fix your cup you want to make sure that you have joined your bodies the bustier part make sure that you've joined it and notch it at strategic places which is the under bust and the bust point before fixing the cup you need to prep it you need to make it appear fuller okay and to do that you want to locate the midpoint by folding it into two that way then you just want to take the dart half inches that all the way to the midpoint all the way to the center okay now you can see the difference you can see that the one that i've taken in the dart it has pierced fuller than the other one so i'm going to repeat the same process for the other side make sure to cut off the excess okay that it can lay flat so personally i prefer to attach my cup to the lining and not on the main fabric especially when i'm using this method to fix my cup and for now this is the best method okay so what you want to do is locate the midpoint that way on your bustier bodies the lining now match up the midpoint of the cup match it up to the under bust where you have notched for the under bust and you just want to stitch it down just run a few stitches okay using your sewing machine and add aids all the way down to the bodies after which you want to stitch it at the side that falls to the center that way you want to make sure that you stitch it at that side too make sure it is falling at the center and your cup is placed well so you just want to run few stitches there as well so now the final place to stitch it down is at the other side that faces the side okay but before doing this make sure that you have make sure that the cup is firm and the fabric is firm also and there is no gathers okay the fabric is not gathered at the center just make sure everything is firm then you just want to run few stitches that way making sure that it is firmly held so this is what you would have so now i'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side as well and show you the final result another thing to note is that you can see that the wrong side of the cup is facing the wrong side of the lining okay so that is how you want to place it also this is what we have this is the end result at the moment this is my most preferred method of attaching the bra cup so now it's time to proceed to sewing of the neckline now to the sewing of the neckline you must have joined your bustier so here's what you want to do you want to match your yoke that way with where you must have notched remember that place where i said it is important to notch on the pattern where your yoke is going to start from then you want to pin it down this way now the next thing to do is to place your lining over it like so because you are going to sandwich the yoke in between the lining and the body of the dress so you just want to go ahead and sew off the neckline so to have a neat sewing especially as beginners i would advise you to mark out your half inches that way then you just want to start sewing from one end to the other like so 
After sewing, you want to make sure that you notch, especially that midpoint. Please, it's important to notch properly and you top stitch. And now this is what we have. The coin and neckline is ready. And that will be all for today. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, kindly give it a thumbs up. Please like this video. Share it, okay? Leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think. And you can also connect with me on my Instagram page at Tyco underscore Tyco too. And if you're yet to subscribe at this point, please do so, okay? Don't leave without subscribing. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.